Right, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Um, thanks for that introduction and uh, for that first talk on the um, bus. Uh, um, I'm, gonna, I'm Alex Robinson, I'm project director at Grosvenor. I'm going to talk to you about our project that we've got at Barton Park, um, which is a partnership with Oxford City Council. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what the site actually is and a little bit of how we're progressing there. Um, and then try and sort of draw out some of the um, <coughs> benefits that are coming about because of because of that partnership. Um, so, uh, what is this partnership we've got with uh, the city council, and what is uh, Barn Park, uh, Oxford Barn Oxford LLP, which is the joint venture um, we have entered? Um, it's made up of Oxford City Council, original landowner, and Grosvenor. Grosvenor, for those of you who don't know, is a property development company uh, based in London. Um, been around for 300 years, um, originally started on the basis of a land ownership in around Mayfair, Belgrave and Pimlico in London, um, has expanded over um, a number of different uh, continents now, but uh, also concentrates on uh, land promotion sites, mostly in Oxford and Cambridge, and that's the department I work in. Um, the situation that uh, arose here was that the City Council owned this uh, uh, piece of land at Barton, um, probably one of the last pieces of significant pieces of land uh, within the city centre that's um, undeveloped and went out to the market back in 2009 for a partner uh, and selected Grosvenor. They were looking for a, a funder and developer, so we bring to that partnership um, both cash in terms of uh, funding of a development, funding of infrastructure, but also fundamentally development expertise um, to bring forward that site. Um, and we, we share the, uh, the benefits of that uh, jointly. It's a 50-50 approach, so um, both the City Council and ourselves have a board made up of 50% uh, uh, members each and, and a 50-50 decision-making process, so um, there's no dominant party in that relationship. Um, a little bit about the site itself, so um, if, for those of you who are unaware, this um, green field, uh, as, as shown here, is, is the land at Barton Park. You've got um, to the right the existing Barton estate, um, which has got um, sort of three, four thousand people living there. You've got on the left-hand side there. You've got uh, Northway, the Northway estate, um, and uh, it's it's one of the, the main boundary to the site is the A40. Uh, north of the site, you're into South Oxfordshire District Council, uh, and um, ultimately the Greenbelt. So the the boundary of the site is the edge of the city centre um, and the city's jurisdiction. So we took that site uh, back in 2009-10 and worked that through the planning system um, to develop this master plan and get a uh, gain outline and plan permission. This is our master plan for 885 homes, 40% of which is affordable housing. Um, of that 40%, 100% of it is social rented accommodation to be owned and managed by the City Council. Um, this was with extensive local consultation on this site and, and, and the, the benefits coming out of that joint venture is a, a two-point approach of City Council having a number of key objectives um, which come out of their development, the, mainly delivering delivery of housing. We heard a lot this morning about um, the economic prosperity of Oxford and the number of jobs being built. Um, delivery of homes is obviously a real challenge. Um, <coughs> and the city is as a constrained land supply, so this is a key site for them in terms of maximising the number of homes coming forward and maximising the amount of affordable housing. Um, it, it, alongside that, we are delivering a new primary school improvements to allotments, a new public park that runs along the north of the site there, um, we call a linear park, um, uh, and a retail provision as well. And this all links through to the existing barns uh, estate. So and here is a, is a seamless community across the two. This is an extension to that um, site. So a uh, little update on progress, and so, so you guys sort of see that things are happening here. That green field is now a muddy um, field. Um, we've got our contractors on site uh, shifting an awful lot of earth around, but also this is part of our side of, the, of that partnership and a part of that uh, joint venture is funding this level of infrastructure, so delivering um, Relevelling the site, but fundamentally, um, sewage pipes, electricity pipes, the main road, the park, the green infrastructure that is key to this site coming forward and, and being an enjoyable place to live. But um, 
as you can see, it's work in progress, but there's about two years worth of infrastructure here to be delivered. And uh, we're, we're sort of approaching the halfway point at the moment. Our, our business model here is to deliver service plots of land to the house builders. So um, that's the business model that was set out at the outset of, of, of this partnership with the city. Um, our expertise at Grosvenor is, is around the place making a site and in terms of delivering a quality of public realm, quality of um, place, not necessarily in terms of delivering more mass market housing. So we look to the house building market to do that. Um, a little bit more here, yeah, we've got a new junction coming in A40, so in terms of partnerships here, County Council was a, a key one, and there's one for the counties talking later, but um, getting a new junction on the A40 is not to be underestimated, and um, in terms of the difficulties of doing that, and, and, and um, some of the key things, we, we reduced the speed limit here, for example, from 70 miles an hour and 50 miles an hour, which was a big issue, in terms of bringing housing up close to that boundary. Um, but working close with the county and work close with them for a number of years now in terms of uh, the technical delivery of, of that facility. So the success of this the joint venture and success of a partnership of this nature is um, about clear set of objectives from the start. And these aren't, aren't all of them and uh, in no particular order, but um, some of the major ones that we agreed up front so that we knew that we had a commercial and a public uh, body here who could agree as to how this site was taken forward. So Barton Park is a catalyst for the regeneration of the existing Barton, um, maximising both the delivery of housing generally but also specifically uh, delivery of affordable housing, um, ultimately setting ourselves a very high benchmark of uh, using this slightly overused term of an exemplar development but um, trying to push the boundaries of design in terms of the master plan but also the architecture that comes forward. And, uh, and ultimately, we're a commercial organisation at Grosvenor, and um, the, the city's put a valuable piece of land into that partnership. So, maximising profits for the members is also a key one as well. Um, out of that, then we generate a vision for Barson, which is a little bit more, a bit more fluffy, but um, ultimately tries to sort of set the tone of what we're trying to do here. So, um, we use this term garden suburb. This is sort of urban fringe, um, re really for Oxford. So you're You've got the countryside across the way. You've got um, more dense accommodation inside of the city boundary. So this is um, trying to bring a bit of countryside into the development um, as best we can, but also keeping the level of density that generates that number of housing. Um, ultimately, just keeping the quality high. I mean, um, the idea here is not to deliver a regular housing estate. Um, uh, Grove and certainly we don't deliver many projects, but when we do deliver them, the idea is to. Uh, deliver them to a, to a high quality, and that's about um, forcing house builders to deliver a slightly different product in architectural terms, but also when we're putting infrastructure in ourselves, uh, delivering that to the highest standard that's appropriate um, so that uh, we can all look back on that site and um, be, be proud of it in a few years' time. So, um, the neighbourhood around there is very active, Barton's got a very active community associations, and Northway is very active as well. and. Um, bringing about and maintaining that vibrant neighbourhood is key and, and making sure there's a crossover between those um, neighbourhoods. So a, little, a few pictures here of, of um, the architecture that's coming forward. So Hill Residential have bought the first phase offers and have planning permission. They'll be starting on site this summer. Um, and this is about um, just some of the approaches we've had here about maintaining existing hedgerows that go run through the site. So um, this has got existing field patterns that we've maintained. Um, we uh, steered Hill towards, towards using good architects that used um, Alison Brooks, um, who won the Sturgeon Prize back a few years ago, and um, uh, Lady Architect of the Year 2015, I think she was, and uh, Paula Thomas Edwards and Theresa Borset there was uh, Lady uh, Architect of the Year 2014. So, um, whether you like, you like your how you like your architecture, whether you like it with uh, Cotswold Stone, or you like something more contemporary like this, I'll leave you to uh, make your own decision. But um, high quality architecture that doesn't normally get um, delivered on, on these types of um, projects. Um, and, th and this is integrated with our, our infrastructure here. So this, here, this is a typical scene of uh, a young man just about the size of the pond, but um, <laughs> you know, uh, it, it, there's a number of features here that we are delivering. So we're delivering the ponds, which are essentially a sort of um, a defence mechanism, but 
with the housing fronting that. So it's integrating what, what we're doing as a joint venture with the, with the house builder and um, that they, they sort of bring that into their designs um, and, and look to do some sort of quality boundary to that to that site. Um, again, some 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 um, quality public realm. This is delivered by the house builder here, but taking on some of the things of what we we delivered through through the scheme. Um, we control, as the city council, control these designs. So we sign these off. We don't let them run away with a with a design. Um, ultimately, it has to be approved by us. So that helps maintain the quality and longevity of that site. Um, we've had a bit of endorsement recently from uh, the NHS. So Barton Park has been selected as a uh, one of the first NHS Healthy New Town demonstrator sites. There's ten sites selected. Vista um, uh, was one of them as well, and. Uh, it's really exciting um, sort of start of something that is seeing the NHS get involved in housing. So um, we haven't really sort of found out yet how that's going to materialise, but it's, it's bringing a huge amount of resource from the NHS into um, in, into uh, Barton and into existing GP surgery in, in the Barton estate and bring, bringing CCG together at a county level to look at this and Vista, which is, which is great news for us. Um, so just to summarise, really, what is Barton Park? It's a joint venture between us and the City Council. What does it deliver? It delivers housing for Oxford, which is, which is one of the main themes, I think, of today. Um, we've already started winning a few awards, hopefully it's, um, some more to come, but delivering some key facilities as well through, through that scheme with a new park, new, new school, community buildings, uh, and improvements to those existing buildings. <coughs> so um, we think it's quite a good model for um, a partnership approach between the public sector and private sector in terms of bringing these sites forward. So thanks for your time today. Cheers.